When I came to Tasmania, I didn't like to tell people I'm a refugee. I have to work hard because I'm a young man. Try to connect with people. Iranian refugee Arad Nick has dreamt of one day becoming a permanent resident in Australia since he arrived by boat in 2012. When I released from detention, I found my place, my home. Arad never thought he'd end up in regional Tasmania running a small business, but it met the conditions of his visa, known as a Chev. Well, a safe haven enterprise visa is effectively a temporary protection visa uh, for someone who's been found to be a refugee. To get the visa, you have to um, indicate an intention to live uh, and work or study in a regional area in Australia. If you um, lived and wow. worked or studied for at least three and a half out of the five years in a regional area on a temporary protection visa, then you would then qualify for permanent residence. We got a sweet lips for your lips and hips. Good. No now his protection visa is about to expire. And like thousands of refugees across the country, the promise of a permanent place remains elusive. We are working hard, paying tax. We try to grow in peace community to support people. We are seeking asylum and freedom. We are not seeking sentencing. There is an opportunity here, uh, but I think it is a very um, limited opportunity, and uh, we'll see how it works out. It was then Immigration Minister Scott Morrison who introduced Chevs in 2014 in order to gain crossbench support to reintroduce temporary protection visas. This is a very high bar to clear. The reality is that the pathway to permanency for most from day one was illusory, it was like a mirage. Human rights lawyer David Mann has helped countless asylum seekers navigate Australia's immigration system and sees this promise of permanence as a false hope. Thousands of people opted to apply for the, the SHEB visa. Only a tiny handful of people have actually been granted permanent visas. Uh, and uh, that's because uh, the criteria for a permanent visa are so strict under Australian legal requirements uh, that it's been out of reach for almost everyone. My name is Ruhul Hosseini, uh, from Afghanistan, came to Australia 2012 as an asylum seeker. Rahala Hosseini spent eight months in immigration detention after trying to reach Australia by boat a decade ago. When he was released on a bridging visa, a friend suggested Rahala travel to regional Victoria. I got the bus ticket, um, got to Swan Hill, got a full-time job straight away um, as a gardener. You know, mowing, um, planting trees, um, whip snapping, you know, uh, even sometimes picking up rubbish. And, but it's an outdoor job and I love it. Speaking barely any English when he arrived, now Rahala works for Swan Hill Rural City Council and volunteers with the Victorian SES. Swan Hill is a beautiful place and I love this town. It's a hometown for me. I love the Swan Hill area and I love Swan Hill people here and it helped me a lot. Rahala applied for a Chev visa in 2019. What have you heard? What, are, what, we, what we've heard from the government uh, was a very short email. Yes, we submitted your uh, application, wait for the process. Three years later, he's still waiting. Well, it just uh, make me feel the Morrison government not sticking to their own law. The processing has been mired in such delay and dysfunction that some people have actually waited years for processing of that visa. It's making me feel hopeless, helpless and shameful. It's played out like a cruel trick, leaving these people in a situation um, which is so deeply counterproductive in terms of their ability uh, to rebuild their lives. 7.30 can reveal that out of more than 13,000 refugees who've been granted a Chev visa, just one has succeeded in transitioning onto a permanent visa. 
A spokesman for the Department of Home Affairs said the visa scheme provided a limited opportunity to apply for certain permanent visas and that it aims to finalise visa applications as quickly as possible. What I'm so often struck by is the extraordinary courage and humanity, um, but also um, the desperate desire to create a home and to contribute and to be part of the community. Rahala's dream is a typically Australian one, to one day own a house of his own. That would be absolutely my dream, to buy my own house and pay my own mortgage. Australia is a country talking about human right. So why are they punishing people, those who seek asylum? Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.